Hello everyone, this is Ekatna here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable copy. So let's get started. Problem solve x p square equals to x minus a whole square. Solution given differential equation x p square equals to x minus a whole square. Then p square equals to x minus a whole square by x then p equals to square root of x minus a whole square by x again you can write this as square root of x minus a whole square by square root of x then p equals to Having square root of x minus a whole square in the numerator, right? Since we know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, then you can write this as x minus a whole square power 1 by 2, right? Since a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n, then you can write this as x minus a power 2 into 1 by 2. 2 into 1 by 2 is 2 by 2. So, we'll get x minus a power 2 by 2, which is equal to x minus a power 1, which is equal to x minus a. So, in the numerator, we'll get x minus a. Okay. See, here you're having square root of x in the denominator. Since square root of a equals to a power 1 by x, so you can write square root of x as x power 1 by 2. Okay. Then p equals to x minus a into 1 by x power 1 by 2. Since 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n, then 1 by x power 1 by 2 is equals to x power minus 1 by 2. Then you can write this as p equals to x minus a into x power minus 1 by 2. Okay. Then p equals to x into x power minus 1 by 2 minus a into x power minus 1 by 2. Okay. See here, the base are equal, so powers must be added. Then x power 1 minus 1 by 2. Then you will get x power 1 minus 1 by 2. That is 1 minus half minus a into x power minus 1 by 2 since 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 minus half is half so you get x power 1 by 2 minus the second term will be as it is okay now put p equals to dy by dx Then dy by dx equals to x power 1 by 2 minus a into x power minus 1 by 2. Then dy equals to x power 1 by 2 minus a into x power minus 1 by 2 into dx. Now integrate on both sides. Integral dy equals to integral of x power 1 by 2 minus a into x power minus 1 by 2 into dx. Then Integral dy is y equals to integral x power 1 by 2 is x power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 minus constant a into integral x power minus 1 by 2 is minus x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by minus 1 by 2 plus 1. See here we have used the formula integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. Here you are having n equals to 1 by 2 and n equals to minus 1 by 2 which is not equals to minus 1. So we have applied this formula here. Okay. Fine. Then y equals to okay you need to write constant right plus c. Then 
y plus c equals to x power 1 by 2 plus 1. 1 by 2 plus 1 is 1 plus 2 by 2 which is equals to 3 by 2. So you get x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus a into x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 minus half is x power half by again you are having 1 minus half which is so you can write this as 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 minus a into 2 by 1 into x power 1 by 2 okay so you can write 1 by 2 by 3 as 2 by 3 and 1 by 1 by 2 as 2 or 2 by 1 okay See, you are having x power 1 by 2 here. If we split this 3 by 2 as 1 by 2 plus 1, again we will get x power 1 by 2 so that we can take x by 1 by 2 common in the next step. So, what we will do is we will simply split this x power 3 by 2 as 1 by 2 plus 1 minus 2a into x power 1 by 2. Then, 2 by 3 into you can write this as x power 1 by 2 into x. Okay. Second term will be as it is. Now take 2 into x power 1 by 2 common from the two terms. So you get 2 into x power 1 by 2 times 1 by 3 into x minus a. Which is equals to 2 into x power 1 by 2 into x by 3 minus a. Then y plus c equals to 2 into x power 1 by 2 into x minus 3a by 3. Then y plus c equals to 2 by 3. I am just taking this 1 by 3 outside. So, I'll get 2 by 3 into x power 1 by 2 into x minus 3a. Now, by squaring on both sides, we'll get y plus c whole square equals to 2 by 3 into x power 1 by 2 into x minus 3a whole square. Then y plus c whole square equals to 2 by 3 whole square into x power 1 by 2 whole square into x minus 3a whole square. So from this we will get y plus c whole square equals to 2 by 3 whole square is 4 by 9 into x power m whole power n equals to x power m into n. So you could write this as x power 1 by 2 into 2 which is equals to x power 2 by 2 equals to x power 1. So x power 1 by 2 whole square will be x. Okay. Into x minus 3a whole square. Okay. So therefore, y plus c whole square equals to 4 by 9 into x into x minus 3a whole square is the required solution. Is the Required solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable copy in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.